Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video and welcome back to some TFT. I uh, need this recurve. I've got a build that I want to try, but it is uh, it's item dependent on mainly two items. So we'll see if we get it. This is one of the items, I believe. Um, so basically it's a brawler comp, but with... Jinx and Lucian. So that, that gives you the damage. And uh, you need Ionic Sparks on the Blitzcrank. You need a Giant Slayer, apparently, on the Jinx. And that's about it. You don't need any other items. Like, technically, two Ionic Sparks on the Blitzcrank is, you know, preferable. Uh, well, there's a Lucian and there's a Lulu. Um, it's preferable, obviously, to, uh, to get two of them. And the idea behind this is because... The meta right now is so assassin focused. Yeah, every game there's going to be assassins in there. Uh, it, it's apparently pretty good versus that. It's kind of what it's kind of trying to counter. So yeah, should be fun though. Um, and then you also get the hextech bonus naturally with running the Jinx and the Vi. The Lucian's in there just for a bit of bonus damage, also then to give hextech to your Jinx. And I've got a general layout of how it would work. So we'll see. Again, this is technically forcing a team comp. We, you know, we've said in the past that this doesn't always work out. You know, it doesn't always. Um, but it's a comp that I'm interested in. Because assassins are annoying. But yeah. Uh, right. Mm, don't need that, do I? No. I guess, you know, it's not the worst thing. Because I can put war mogs on a brawler. So... Oh, this game. It's not giving me what i'd love right now but that's fine look that's literally noble <laughs> that's kind of funny to see all right come on game so again what is giant slayer giant slayer is wait it's not that is it oh no what is giant slayer i'm gonna i'm gonna google uh tft all right oh it's sparring glove is it sparring glove and i th ah, okay it is a... I think it's a sparring glove item. Do, do, do. Yes. Okay, so... No, it's not. It's just a new item on the patch. It's a BF sword. And it's a Rika. <gasps> Ooh. I don't need that, though. God damn it. Well, I guess we can get a thief's glove later, if, we, if you know. Game! Like, why are you being so mean to me? Give me the unit that I seek. Uh, again, take stuff in the early game that it might just give you, you know, what you need. Um, so, well, not the great, again, with this comp being kind of item dependent, it might be, a, you know, there is definitely a thing going, oh, bail out of now. But, again, for a comp to only really need three items, two of them being the same, so that is two, two Negatron Cloaks, two Large Rods, and then Jinx, I just need a BF Sword. I don't know. It, it seems still viable at this stage. It doesn't seem like it's completely out of, like, the realm of possibility to get those items. If it was like, oh, you need, like, five recurve bows, sure. But, eh. I think we'll be okay. Alright. It is really not giving me what I need, though. <laughs> Worth saying. I'll sell the cannon, actually, probably. If, well, I'll sell the cannon if we're going to win the round. Uh, but yeah, so the units I need, I need the six brawlers. Vi, Cho'Gath, Rek'Sai, Warwick, Blitzcrank, Volibear. Six brawlers, and then Jinx and Lucian. So we got the Lucian, which is something. Obviously, want to get him tier two. Uh, so really, when you're doing a comp like this, the early game, you're not, you know, you're not. Ooh, I don't know if we win this. Uh, you're not exactly looking to win. You know, um, you're not looking to run your comp instantly. You're looking just to get through the early to mid game. Um, that guy has been quite lucky. All right, I'm gonna sell it anyway for ego. Um, he got two tier twos. He and again hasn't leveled up because he hasn't needed to because he got those two two tier twos. That's kind of nice for him. You know. Right. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Mm -hmm. Oh, yay. That's probably better, right? Yeah. So 
we got to hold that recurve bow. Um, and we might as well all those. Okay. Coolio, dude. All right. So, I will say I played Clash yesterday. Um, the first video of Clash would have probably been uploaded. And it went really, really good. Um, it may, if I'm honest, Clash just makes me miss ranked fives. Because uh, Flex Q is obviously a joke. Um, it just sucks that we got rid of ranked fives. Because, you know, you could basically do Clash permanently. Um, but Riot got rid of it. Again, they got rid of ranked fives because that whatever developer was just holding on to the, the idea of dynamic mode too much. And they're like, right, let's trash ranked fives because dynamic mode didn't work and replace it with that it's like oh my god really i already by the way have seen the flood of complaining uh with clash mode by the way um of you know dumb dumb reasons uh right so i guess we'll oh i have to go for the volley bear i guess or do i hmm i don't know i don't want <laughs> it would hurt me to take the volley bear and then also have to sell it that, that, that would hurt me on the inside. So I'm just going to take... I'm just going to take the Viger. I could have taken a Thieves Glove. But again, I do need, I think, two Ionic Sparks to make this work. So I need two Negatrons, two um, needlessly large rods. I think we'll get a BF Sword some stage. I, it, it's better to take the thing I need two of rather than the thing I just need one of, I think. That makes sense to me, logically. Uh, but yeah, the big complaint... Well, not big complaint. The complaint that I've seen, and apparently there's been a few... Sh a couple salty streamers about it and when you when you hear what they are you'll be like ah uh, one tricks apparently there's a lot of salty one tricks so obviously clash mode is a tournament and like any tournament in league of legends there is scouting and obviously you can't be a one trick when they're scouting because you just get banned out like for example we played last night the the mid opponent was a 1.2 million mastery cat arena with like 700 games the gangplank game that I uploaded, 700 games or whatever, Katarina, and then her next champion had like 30. It was like, yeah, you're banned. And what we actually did to make it even worse for that dude, we actually banned two of their champions. We banned his first pick, Katarina, and then whatever he played second, I think it was Yasuo, boom, you are not playing either. And yeah, he didn't play well. It's just, I don't know why people complain about that. Again, if you're if you're being a one trick, you are not competitive. You, you you're not be, you're not trying to be competitive while you admit being a one trick. It's just not how it works. So um, it, yeah, bit weird to me. Not bit, very weird to me. It's I, I think most people would have just never played in a tournament before, and they're like, but this is like solo queue. It's like no, no, it's not. This game. Whoa, that's kind of crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that was a Lucian. Was that a Lucian? And I might have... Oh my god, that might have been a Lucian and I missed it. My bad. I was going too quick. Ah, uh, okay. That we've wow, we have just seen units, everybody. I can't believe that. Though there were some amazing units there, like an Aurelian already, and a Kali already. It's like, huh? So yeah, I, I we we hyper rolled a bit there because it's like, ooh, I'm a bit nervous because you know, we're a bit low. Uh, I don't want to be near the bottom, <laughs> if I can help it. Um, and yeah, we got a we got a, a few nice things there. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, we are starting to hit what we need, which is nice. Uh, I'll leave Nidalee in for now, because she's tier 2. Uh, I guess we... Uh, yeah, I pro probably for now. That, eh, I don't know, actually. That, that's probably better, actually. Get rid of the Nidalee. Yeah. Cool. Alright, I think we're, we're a bit... Uh, hopefully we're a bit stabilised. That's what I'm hoping. Hmm. Alright, gimme, give gimme, give gimme give some of the items that I need. Okay, come on. Yeah! There's the Jinx item. So what we can do, we can put that on Tristana for now. And we'll, we'll replace Tristana for Jinx when it when it comes. Not exactly what I needed. Um, so it's BF Sword and... Yeah. 
So it's called Last Whisper, but I think it was known... Is the effect called Giant Slayer? No, whatever. But yeah, it's a Last Whisper. Cool. Damn, we didn't get a... Um... Ooh, nice. So we can do that probably. Um, we didn't get a Negatron, but again, we are getting to things that we need. Um, so again, would want a Thieves Glove, maybe. Uh, that needs a large rod. That needs... No, wait, wait. That, that's random. That can be used for anything, actually. Hmm. I'm going to put it on the graves and just buff him because we're going to sell him. And then we need, a, we need a large rod for that. Okay, so we're getting there. So that technically, to make this work, we obviously need the champions. And we also need three more items. One more Negatron and two large rods. I don't think that's overly difficult to get. You know, touch wood. Oh, that guy had that thievey glove thing. I think we're good. Yeah. And this guy is in third. And we've got the same eco as him. So yeah, we've definitely, well, I, I'd call stabilized, which is always nice. Another Aurelian. Oh my god. What? Imagine if I was doing an Aurelian comp this game. Whoa, you go. He does not want to lose. So he's doing like a wild... Shapeshifter? Yeah, wild shape. We did that, and we, 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 I think we won that game, right? It's pretty strong. But again, the counter to it, I believe, is killing stuff with, like, you, 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 you know, survive as long as you can and kill tanks. And what are we trying to do? Well, we're, oh, okay, we get him. We're actually trying to do a tank killing Jinx. So, it's not out of the realm of possibility that we, we might beat this guy. Uh, not now. I, 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 I think we're too low level to beat this guy right now. Um, but I think later in late game, I don't think it's like, you know, I don't think it's impossible that we, we don't, we, we lose to that guy. I think it's definitely winnable. You know, he is hyper rolling, he's power leveling, and the reason why he's kind of enabled to do that is he's so far ahead. He, you know, he's winning a lot. That's, that's very valuable. Um, so, yeah. Again, the pattern, there is even in this little thing here, the pattern that you're supposed to be running is something like this, but there's not much point doing it yet because, like, you basically spread your units. There's no there's no point doing it yet because uh, we don't have the complete combo. So in the bottom left corner, you put your Blitzcrank and Warwick. In the middle, you put your Jinx so she can't have Assassins on her. In the bottom right, you put your Lucian and Volibear. And in the front, you put your Vi, Cho'Gath, and Rek'Sai. So, yeah. All right, would be nice to beat this guy. Looks good. And this guy is below me, but his eco obviously is very good. And also his name is humorous. Uh, he has got Nico's help, worth noting. Uh, whoa, he has two Cho'Gaths. Why? Okay, Cho'Gaths are really good a person. Why wouldn't you get a tier two Cho'Gath already? Like, that would be pretty good, right? All right, so we're looking for Negatron. Oh, there's only... Okay, there's two. I should get it. It would be very... Oh, there is a Jinx, but I don't need the item. Well, it, it's it's fine on her because we just sell. So it's either these two or the Jinx. I think we just go for the Ionic um, already. Cool. We'll, we'll get a Jinx, I believe. It, you know, we've seen all the, the four cost units, basically, apart from Jinx at that stay, that, that this stage. We'll find one. I believe. Bum bum, ba bum bum, bum bum. It's a lot of purple. Uh, so I guess I level up, and I do this. Cool. We're on the way, everybody. We're on the way. Da 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 da. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Cool. Ugh. I wonder if we're going to... Well, the guy who was in first place and hadn't lost has lost now. The shapeshifter guy, so... Okay. So we hook a ranger. This doesn't look too difficult. I don't know. Maybe when his Katarina spins. Oh, she's not in ranger much. There we good. Nice. 
And I got, that guy's in trouble, man. He's on low health and not much eco. I did think he, he had two tier two Garens on his bench, so. Um, yeah, I'm just basically just rotating the uh, thingies. I, I, I really want to get over 50 eco, but then things keep popping up that I need. So, you know, not complaining. Uh, it would be nice to get over 50, though. So, again, now the guy who I think was also winning got beat. So, yeah, maybe their, their comps are falling off a tiny bit. So, again, to make this comp work perfectly, uh, need Jinx. Need, obviously, the other uh, Brawlers. We haven't got Volibear. We haven't got Cho'Gath. Um, oh, a Disarm on Jinx. Interesting. Who's dead? Oh, no, she's not dead. She's about to be. Uh, this looks pretty easy. Again, you hopefully you guys can see the comp is actually pretty strong. And, again, we're not fully online yet. Because we have a we have a Tristana instead of a Jinx, we've got a Graves instead of another Brawler. Like yeah, may that might be a, a move. Maybe we'll get rid of the Graves for Vi, and then we have four Brawler. Maybe it is a tier two Graves though. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, this game is liking me today, and I'm liking it. And we keep fifty eco. Cool. Wow. Nice. All right, Negatron perfect would be another Negatron and a large rod. That would be uh, mwah, mwah. don't know if it's gonna happen, but it'll be great. Is anybody actually doing assassin, by the way? Because this is what this actually counters. Yeah, he kind of, a little bit. He's doing ish wild though. So no one's doing pure assassin, which is what this comp is actually supposed to counter. I think it's a strong comp in general, but ooh, what's this? It just came. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Jesus, I'm going to give... Whoa. Okay. That's crazy. So I'm just going to give the spear to the Lucian, I feel. Um, and I want I want to give... Oh, that's what we could do. Because I want to give uh, Cho'Gath the Thieves' Glove, you know? Uh, let's just give spear to Lucian. Yeah. I want to give uh, Thieves' Glove to Thingy, uh, to Cho'Gath. Can I get rid of... Ugh. God damn it. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. again, we're going Brawler. It's all about just surviving. Oh, we hooked his good unit. Cool. I love when you hook their carry. <laughs> That's a good feeling. And then she's going to ult and Blitzcrank's going to hook her out of it. Oh, he didn't hook her out of it. But he, she died before. Okay, cool. Oh, look at Blitzcrank's damage, dude. It's because of the Ionic Spark. It's not bad. I still haven't found a Volley Bear. But I also need that Cho'Gath, right? Yeah. I don't think the move is to get rid of the Graves to the Vi. Like, it might be. But, like, what's Graves doing in terms of damage? Okay, he's actually not doing much damage. Never mind. Let's just get rid of him. Um, who do I want to give that to? I think I'm going to give it to Rek'Sai. Because, like, Rek'Sai is just so irritating in terms of trying to kill when they've got good regen. So, yeah. Oh, I can level one. Oh, I could have leveled one more time. Oops. I don't even know what I would have put in. If I just lose this round, that'll make me really sad. Because I could have leveled up. But I don't think we're losing the round. So, like, I'm legit really strong right now. <laughs> and we only get stronger. I guess we saved myself, ex like, paying for that then. I need to be level 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I need to be level 8 so I keep going. I don't refresh. I just keep her going. Shame that I haven't found Volibear or Cho'Gath. Or Jinx. You know, just saying. And again, you know, any bonus items of Jinx wouldn't be a miss either. Uh, you know, RFC or anything like that. You know, I'll definitely take it. Alright, here we go. Who are we against now? We're against... Uh, the guy just below me, so yeah. Okay, Blitzcrank's gonna hook and then get trapped or whatever it's called. So, it did, whoa, it does damage? Oh, it still does damage, it just doesn't use the CC. So this is where Ionic Spark really kicks off, because he's a spell comp. So all the... Again, we might still... Okay, we lost because of just the damage that guy has. But when you get tankier and tankier six brawler, we won't die. Ionic Spark's just going to be going... Zzz, zzz, zzz. 
Um, but yeah, that guy just has a lot of damage right now, which is fine. Okay. Do 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 do. So Negatron is the only thing, I guess. And I'm in third, so it's unlikely I'm gonna get what I want. I don't know, we might get it. It's a one cost unit with a Negatron. So the only person that's gonna take that is someone that specifically specifically wants a Negatron cloak, because it's a one cost unit. You know, there's a five cost unit, it's threes, fours, three. So yeah. So I get it. So that, that's kinda nice. I, I get it because it's such a cheap unit. Cool. So we just we just need one more needlessly large rod and we get double ionic on Blitzcrank. That's what we want. Because double on ionic obviously double procs. The damage. So again, spell comps. <gasps> we found it. Oh my god, we found both on the same turn. Oh. Cool. Alright. Um. Yeah, we just level. So all it is now, get to level 8, put Volley Bear in, and then we gotta find Jinx, and then upgrades. Jinx and upgrades, baby. And then we're, did, we're, we're done. We don't need to get to level 9. There's, I don't think there's like anything really crazy that would be amazing at level 9. Alright, here we go. This guy's currently in first. Um, okay, so like a Sorcerer comp. Uh, I, I'm gonna say, you know, I don't see me losing this? I don't know. I'd be surprised if I did. But, you know, Tristana at the moment, if a Jinx was there, I'd be very confident to win it. It's just Tristana is so bad. I think we win. Good. Uh, that, see that Blitzcrank cook? Hell yeah, we win. All right, we beat first place. Yeah, see Tristana's damage right now? Imagine if that was a Jinx. Oh my god. If you, god, if you needed a Morgana, the game likes you. So the reason, by the way, you put it on Cho'Gath, by the way, the Thieves' Glove, again, this item, it makes somewhat, it makes the champion run off the screen, get some items, run back on the screen. The reason why you put it on Cho'Gath, I've heard this from a good, you know, few players, is he's good with both offense and defensive items. And obviously with that, you can get both. Um, because that's actually giving attack speed, I guess we do that. Oh, no, it's two to the left, two to the right, never mind. Um, so yeah, that's the reason. So if you get tank items on him, cool, he's got tank items. If he's got damage items, well, amazing, he's got damage items and he can just kill a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Alright, I don't know if we win this one, we'll see. Good Cho'Gath ult, but again, he has already got a Swain. He's got a Fon, by the way, so he's got nine units. And it's a tier three Warwick, yeah, so that guy's pretty strong right now. Again, I only have seven units, he's got nine, so I guess that shouldn't be too surprising. So we get we hit uh, we hit level next. So literally this next turn uh, we we level after this round, and then we put put it in. We get the configuration that we want, and then we roll down and we try to look for everything we need. So yeah, and then we'll set up the the, the format that it tells me to do. You know. So again, I know we've obviously been hunting this, um, and uh, you know usually forcing comps is never a good idea, but it's worked. We we found the comp. And we have pretty... We, we're one item off having the the perfect items that the comp needs. We legit just need a Negatron cloak. Um, and need a large uh, rod. That's it. So we'll see. We'll see. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, and Nico's help. Interesting. Okay. Vo okay. Here's the, here's the apparently what we do. So we put Rek'Sai here. We put Cho'Gath there. We put Vi... We'll put Warwick here. We put Blitzcrank there. So this is apparently the comp. That's it. Right there. Interesting. Okay. Wow. Oh, there was a Vi. Oops. We got rid of his items because we've got Hextech now, by the way. Alright, so this is the comp online. The only thing now that makes a difference is upgrades. Looks pretty strong. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We only had one death. That's kind of crazy. Come on, feel the noise. Yeah! I was I was legit gonna use curse play, um, Nico's help on that. 
I think I'm going to wait for Nico's help on... Uh, oh, I could have a tier 3 Rek'Sai. Do I want a tier 3 Rek'Sai? What's more valuable, a tier 3 Rek'Sai or... Damn. Tier 3 Rek'Sai right now or like getting a Jinx and then using it on Jinx? I don't know. Ooh, that could be good on Jinx. Because again, you, you, we're just using her as the backline defending unit, right? Oh my god, he's got two Cursed Blades. That's kind of funny. Oh, that Chogathalt! <laughs> oh my god, that was huge! Alright, comps online, everybody. Oh, we knock him out. Boom. It's not, it's, it's not going to give it to me, is it, guys? Oh, I don't know what to do. Should I? Because we're, we're winning now. Do I want to extend my lead even more and just do this for, for Rek'Sai Tier 3? Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just get a Tier 3 Rek'Sai with, again, should we put something in more annoying? Yeah, why not? I'm feeling it. Oh, thankfully, I didn't use that, by the way, because I want another Ionic. All right, this guy... This should be interesting. So another Jinx orientate. Oh, good Chogathol. Boom. What does he have? Oh, he's got good damage items this round. Good Chogathol before he dies. All right, this guy might be out as well. Damn, we, we, we're just knocking people out. Holy moly. And you can see the Jinx, was. she's only tier one at the moment. All right. If it gives me an Ionic. Okay, no Ionic. Um... Red buff, maybe? I don't know. There's no, there's nothing that completely stands out to me. Like, an Iceborne, maybe, actually? Because that just is annoying and slows and stuff. Oh, he took it. Um, I'm going to take the red buff. Oh, mama, mama, mama. Oh, there's the Vi. I'll give that to my Jinx. I'm not going to go for the volley bear. I'm just really, really... Lo oh, my God. I'm just really looking. Really looking, guys. Really looking. Come on. Uh, I guess I should just give that to the Blitzcrank, actually. You may as well. Okay, here we go. We're one Jinx, one Vi away from everything being Tier 2. And then, yeah, just more Tier 3s. Okay, we lost to this guy last time. Now the comp's online, though. Do we lose to him now? Good items on Cho'Gath, by the way. Oh, good ult. Uh, so, ah... This comp was designed to take out Akali, specifically Akali Assassin players. So remember, we lost to this guy really badly last time. You got wrecked, son. Like this time, he was on a win streak. So the funny thing is, the only person I think comes close to beating me would be that guy. And my comp legit was created. Ooh! It was created to counter Assassin Akali players. That's legit what the comp was for. So this is looking pretty good. And again, this was, you know... Going for a specific comp, which obviously isn't usually a good thing. Um, but, you know, it gives you everything. It tells you what items you need. And, you know, we're, we're one item away from being perfect. You're not always going to get perfect what, you know, you need. Um, but the layout, literally, there's a little map that I've done the layout. So this does say these comps are good. You know, I, I guess these comps are made by people that just know what the hell they're talking about, you know. Ooh, kill that Morgana. That would be great. Yep. Oh, Cho look at Cho'Gas items. He's got crit, baby. Boom! That's hilarious. He's got crit. Honestly, killing my Rex is a task and a half. With that item, and then also with a Warmog and Brawler. Like, how the hell are you killing that? All we need is a Vi. Okay, what item are you going to give me? Ionic? Ooh, Deathblade on Jinx! <laughs> That's actually not bad at all. I don't need that. I just need the Vi. It was really annoying because I think I do believe I missed one earlier. We're not going to get that, are we? Vi. Vi. Damn, dude. Has everybody else got Vi? So there is a Vi there. Uh, and that's it. So it was just there's one Vi player, so they're just not showing up. I guess I might have should have spread my comp because Dragon's about to... Oh, God. This could go bad. I think we'll still beat it. But, uh, yeah. See the look. <laughs> directly next to my Jinx. Okay, the CC level's too high. Yeah, we give Deathblade to the Jinx too. So, 
again, there's core items in what you need with stuff. But then, you know, there's occasionally you, you can, you know, go kind of crazy with it. Damn. Are we legit not going to get the bike? But yeah, Deathblade again, if you don't... If, I, I understand some people don't follow the newer items as much. Every single killer unit gets involved with, they get plus 15 AD. And that stacks for the end of the round. Jinx, obviously, with Gunslinger. Going to be in the back line, relatively safe. She's in the middle of the map, so assassins won't go on her. Yeah, she's, she's pretty pretty safe so she should get a lot of death blade like usually the jinx is actually alive near the end of the round oh my god look at that's gonna do so much damage if it crits here we go folks we're against the guy in last zone's theory this should be an, an easy win boom frontline items are gone all right here we go does chogath get his ult off because again remember he is completely stackaroo Ooh, he got it off boom Ooh. i think we lost to this guy last wait why has he got two why has he got two root? What? Why has he got two redemptions? Okay, that just fully healed him. That's really annoying. Do we lose this guy because he's got two redemptions? I don't know. My it's gonna be really hard to kill my Rex side, dude. He might do it. Come on, Rex side, get another ult off. Ah, oh, if you got another ult off, all right. Two redemptions. That's so weird. Oh, we did it! Okay, we're in basically a three for all. So I beat this guy easily. This guy's... A, I don't know, it's odd. I, I, honestly, it could be whatever Hextech. If Hextech hits, you know, the right... Th wait. Wait, what? Oh, it's Thieves' Glove! Oh, he lucked out with Thieves' Glove. Okay, I was so confused. Okay. Okay, so next round he doesn't have that. All right, we're against this guy anyway. What's this guy against? All right, so this the guy, that guy is against the guy we're playing. But yeah, we should easily win this. Again, the comp was designed to beat this. So if I lose to it, I'll be upset. It's honestly not looking amazing right now because the Akali didn't die early. How didn't the Akali... Whoa, I got owned. How didn't the Akali die? Okay, that's concerning. That's really concerning. We haven't... Uh, he, he got a Fon now, that guy, by the way. So, has he always had Fon? I, I think he did, right? How many... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... He's got ten units! Okay, then. He's got ten units versus my eight. That's scary. But I think this guy beat his ghost. Oh, my God. All three of us could win at this stage. This is... This is... This is spicy. The only thing I would probably put in is actually a Nar if I manage to get to level 9. Okay, I get the Ghost. Hextech something good. Okay, mm, we'll see. Before it was the two Redemptions. Okay, Vi is doing well. Lucian didn't die to the Viga. Jinx is free. Like, look at Jinx. Nothing is... Oh my god. That Aurelian. I think we're okay. Oh wait, that Nar though. That Nar's huge. I don't... We're in... I think we come... I think okay so this guy who we're playing the ghost just got knocked out so now we're oh this is a this is a weird dynamic oh my god <gasps> we get to complete oh my god there's a thieves glove though we're both going for it yeah, i've got to go for this oh i wasn't i don't think i would have beat him that's crazy he is a thieves glove that might have just 100 percent won him the game I get my completed though, so I get two Ionics. That I don't know, it could make a difference. Oh my god. <laughs> two Iceborns? Okay, please don't go near my Jinx. Oh god. Ooh. All right, here we go. One, one round can make the win here. So my Cho'Gath has got with Thieves' Glove damage items. Let's see. Please. Something good. Get the Akali. Yes! Now kill it. Kill the Akali. Please. Please focus it. Good Cho'Gath ult. Jinx, come on. Let's go. Yeah! Did we win? I don't know. Ooh, I don't know if we win. He's so tanky with some of these items. Oh, I don't know. No. Ooh, do we? Hey, okay, we win this round. I don't think that ends the game. It makes me take the lead, I think. Yeah. Oh my god. It legit, it, it, right now, this game of TFT legit just depends. Oh my god, that Cho'Gath item. 
This game in CBC depends if his Akali dies early. He just get a tier, tier 2 Rengar with items. That's a bit scary. But, oh, not a lot of down. Oh, a little, oh they're going to have pretty good shields. So they're positioning, by the way. These two to go. Okay, we could do something here. Ah. Maybe I caught him off guard. Keep the Lucian who's also doing damage to the other side. Doesn't matter what side they're all on. Okay, we didn't get the Akali this time. I'm nervous. Because now there's a Rengar and an Akali. Good show, Gethalt. Come on, Ratatat. No! Okay, we lost. <laughs> Ten units is just way too much, dude. He's got two more units than me. Ah, it's a good game. I'll take it. Second place with a comp that we did kind of force. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, throw a like on the video, throw a subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. See you.